let's take a look at the dashboard within Juniper Appstra, a simple-to-navigate design that provides a holistic view into your network. Here I have configured one data center, Philadelphia Data Center. And if we click on it, the very first screen we're going to land on is the dashboard. On the top, you can get details on analytics, staged, where you would enact new config, uncommitted, where you can see the changes you're about to push, active, to see Fabric's active operation and telemetry, and time wager, where you can roll back to restore previous revisions of a blueprint. For more on these, check our other videos. Next, we have the deployment status. So this is actually any configuration that you create in your Fabric adding new virtual networks, or VRFs. This gives you the status of that configuration. A discovery configuration is basic configuration that Appstra needs, such as LLDP, and drain config would be if you are putting a device into maintenance mode, that is, draining traffic away from it in order to replace it or upgrade. And when we scroll down, we can take a look at our anomalies. Now, in this case, I've put a line of config I've disabled an interface on one of the spine devices to intentionally create some anomalies. And you can see how Appstra keeps track of your config in its graph database, which is the single source of truth. So if someone logs in via the command line, it will log a config deviation. And then in this case, disabling that interface also created some anomalies within cabling and BGP route table. So you can see in a heads-up display all of your anomalies, and then you can click through. So we can click through to the config deviation. Again, for more on this, check our other videos. Finally, we have this node status, which has been described as a blast radius indicator. So we can see that we've got multiple anomalies on spine 1 again. That's the one that I disabled the interface on. Then we can see that it's trickling down and how it's affecting the other devices in the fabric. So from one place, you have one comprehensive view into the functions and operations of your fabric. You can manage workflows easily, even with minimal networking expertise, by automating manual tasks and eliminating vendor-specific configurations.